All right, now we're doing 8Q Beginner Reduce But Grow. This is by PG1, 91, excuse me, 92 percent of the people like it. Given a non-empty array of integers, return the result of multiplying the values together in order. Example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 equals 24. I'll take your word for it. Just kidding. Hopefully that's the answer. Anyway, uh, so let's set up right here. This one's very simple as long as you're already aware of how to reduce things using uh, the reduce method. And the reduce method executes a user supplied reducer callback function on each element of the array in order, passing in the return value from the calculation on the preceding element. The final result of, run of running the reducer across all elements of the array is a single value, right? This one we don't have to worry about on this one specifically, but uh, perhaps the easiest to understand case for reduce is to return the sum of all the elements in an array. And in this case, it's not gonna be the sum, it's gonna be the product. All right, so here's the uh, example. We're gonna, here's pretty much the exact same thing, except for we're gonna change this to a, uh, to a star, you know, do a multiplication, but so we're going to do previous value, which in this case would be zero, because it says the initial value is zero. And then the current value is uh, uh, whatever, like one, you know, and so previous plus current initial. So previous plus current one plus two, which is three, plus three, which is six, plus four, which is ten, and it'll come out ten. Hopefully that makes sense. If not, I'll show you what's up. All right. In this one, we're not going to be needing the uh, initial value. We're just going to use the previous value plus the current value. Excuse me, times the current value. So for this, we're just going to say x dot reduce. All right. And we're going to do the little, let me show you the syntax. We're going to say uh, previous value inside this parentheses, previous value, current value, and then a, uh, an arrow function. So we're going to do, what is it? Prev and then comma cur arrow function and then we're going to say prev times cur all right and that should work and we don't need to do the comma zero for initial value because it's just going to use one as the initial whatever's in uh, we're going to use whatever's in uh, index one, zero as the initial value right so look it worked attempt it it worked all right submit it all right my solutions just me best practice i think very like it and we'll see you on the next time <laughs> pardon me we'll see you next time